So in James 2, 14 to 26, James talks about faith and works. Many people have said that uh, James is opposed to what Paul says about faith. He's not. Instead, he explains it in a different way. Now, he starts here by uh, simply stating his, his thesis. What good is it, dear brothers and sisters, if you say you have faith, but don't show it by your actions? That's James' thesis here. Faith must show itself by what we do. He goes on. Can that kind of faith save anyone? Suppose you see a brother or sister who has no food or clothing. You say, goodbye, have a good day, stay warm, eat well, and you don't give that person any food or clothing. What good does that do? He gives an example, a very cutting example. Someone who comes to you for help in need of food and clothing, and you simply say, hope everything goes well for you. James says, that's not what we're called to. That is not true faith. He goes on in verse 17. So you see, faith by itself isn't enough. Unless it produces good deeds, it's dead and useless. James simply says the nature of faith is to produce good deeds. Now he goes on in verse 19 and 20. He gives a theological argument. You say you have faith, for you believe that there is one God. James literally quotes here Deuteronomy chapter 6. God is one. That's a statement that all Jews made four or five times a day. They would stand and say, God is one. God is the Lord. Love the Lord your God. Um, he says, you have good theology. You believe in one God. Good for you. Even the demons believe this, and they tremble in terror. Can't you see that faith without good deeds is useless? If faith is exclusively knowledge-based, the demons have the best faith of all of us because they know but James says it's not knowledge-based, it's action-based. Faith leads to action. Paul said the same thing. He focused on the faith side of things. James focuses on the action side of things. He finishes in verses 21 to 26 by giving two examples. Abraham, of whom the Bible says Abraham believed. God. Abraham had faith in God. And God counted him as righteous because of his faith. But what was the mark of Abraham's faith? He was willing to sacrifice Isaac. Works. Abraham's faith led to works. And Rahab is the other example. The prostitute in Jericho, who when the spies came to Jericho, and looked to Rahab to help them, she hid them. She acted because she believed that God would give Israel the victory over Jericho. The belief wasn't enough. She had to act. So today, what action expresses your faith? We're called to care for the vulnerable, we are called to bless those who are around us. We are called to do good deeds. Show your faith today.